Alright, welcome to my video blog at ESPN760.com. We're doing it today from my brand new office. A little bare bones so far, but of course the first thing anybody would put in their office is a great picture of John Martin. I mean, that's the first thing you gotta have up there. A great picture of J. Mart, his dyed hair, his fake teeth, holding a football, that beautiful necklace he's got. That's the first thing you gotta put on the video blog. Alright, a lot going on in the sports world today. Let's start with baseball. This Marlins situation is out of control. There are so many different parties to blame here. Major League Baseball allows the Marlins to operate like a business. I know that sounds really dumb to think about. How can a business allow another business to operate like a business? But if you're in sports, the goal is twofold. Obviously to make money, but to win. The Marlins seem like their only goal is to make money. Major League Baseball shouldn't allow that. In addition, these county and city commissioners that never looked at the Marlins' finances prior to give them public funding, giving them public funding, I mean, how do you do that? How do you not look at whether or not a team can privately fund a stadium before you publicly fund a stadium? It makes no sense to me at all. And then the Marlins, I mean, give me a break. Give me a break. The, amount, it, the list is too long to fit into our video blog here at ESPN760.com. I've said it like it's legally stealing. It feels that way. They didn't, they're not committing a crime. They're doing nothing illegal. But they refuse to show their finances. They clearly made money over the years. And now, finally, we prove it. And they have now told us, yes, you're right. We have made money. But it all went to the stadium. Oh, give me a break. They're going to tell me it was either Miguel Cabrera or the stadium. Nobody. And I mean nobody believes that. Dolphins getting ready for preseason game number three on Friday against the Falcons with the big move. They trade Greg Camarillo to the Vikings. You know, Greg Camarillo is kind of that Wes Welker Jr. guy for them. He's always been that kind of guy. When they get here, they think, oh, you're like Wes Welker. Well, I think Greg Camarillo had a much better Dolphins career than people give him credit for. He averaged around 50 catches a year. He always got hurt, which was a problem. But think about a guy like that who's a good possession guy who comes to work and plays every single day. And he's going to go play with Brett Favre now. I bet you he has 60 catches this year. I bet you he sets a career high in receptions this year. And don't forget something. Greg Camarillo arguably has the most important catch in Dolphins history. He had the one catch against the Ravens in overtime that went for a touchdown during the 1-15 season. If he doesn't make that play and they go 0-16, think about it this way. What do you remember more, the perfect season or the winless season? And Greg Camarillo had a huge catch to make that happen. Some college football things to think about. What an event we had on Monday night, PNC College Football kickoff with Kirk Herbstreit. It was awesome. He said some interesting things. He thinks Miami's going to win the ACC. He thinks Florida's going to win the SEC. He thinks Florida State is going to struggle big time on offense, which is interesting considering their quarterback, Christian Ponder, very well could be a first-round pick. And his pick to win it all? Oklahoma. Who would ever think that one? That, that's pretty unbelievable. You know who would think that one? Me. I picked Oklahoma as well prior to that. I'm in the ESPN 760 Fall Guide, which will come out soon, I'm telling you, wait till you guys see this, I picked Oklahoma to win the national championship, Landry Jones and company. And, and the other thing that Herb Street said, and I'm glad he said this, game day, as of now, is going to the Alabama-Penn State games on September 11th. He said we should be at Miami-Ohio State. I don't know that there's a better game in the country than Miami-Ohio State coming up on September 11th. Thanks to Drew, I'm Evan Cohen on ESPN760.com with my video blog.